This is Geneva coming at you again today. I want to do a quicker um, tutorial for your Afro or your TWA or your sisters, whatever you got going on. But first, I'm going to share a few um, products for my newly natural um, divas out there like myself. First thing is, we're if you're newly natural, you're always looking for some good shea butter. Got it right here. Okay, this I ordered this from Coastal Scents. And um, it was a five pounder. It's like thirty six dollars and some change. My shipping. I live in Dallas, Texas, so it was like eight dollars for shipping. And um, as you can see, it is very soft. Yeah, very soft. <laughs> very soft. Um, it has a how can I describe it? A smoky scent. Um. Yeah, it's a smoky scent. Um, they they ship out really quick. You get the product really quick. But I got mine in less than a week, so no more than a week. It, sh it shouldn't take no more than a week. Depending on where you stay, I guess. But um, I guess if you're in the States, it shouldn't take no more than a week. And um, I've ordered from Butter and Bars. I ordered like a pound from them one time, but it took almost two weeks for me to get my um, shea butter. And they have great shea butter, just like this one. Um, if you're looking for great shea butter, definitely go to Butter and Bars. If you don't like the, you don't mind the weight. Um, or go to Coastal Sense if you're impatient like me. <laughs> we'll just up right away. <laughs> um, and that's that on the shea butter. And next I wanted to sh share with you is the Black African Soap. Now, I ordered this from uh, Butter and Bars. I had ordered a pound originally, so this is about probably like a a half a pound at this point. I've shared some with friends and family. I've made shampoo with it and face soap, which I will be doing a tutorial on on my um, face soap. Just to show y'all what it looks like. That's what it um, looks like. It's almost gone, but I want to show y'all how, how I make mine um, in order to keep moisture in, into my skin. Um, but yeah, the, the Black African Soap, if you're looking for it, this is not to be supply for African Soap or shea butter, um, it should be really soft and has a clean scent. It should not be rock hard like a rock. Um, and you know, this is what it looks like. It's very soft. I can smash this and break off a piece. And a little bit does go a long way. That's why I've had this since probably about December. Um, really good stuff. Got some butter and bars. And um, like I said, it took them a week and a half for me to get it, but good product. So if you're newly natural and you're looking for, you know, great African soap or great shea butter, those two websites will have what you're looking for without you being concerned if it's a rip off, or did I get the right kind or anything like that. Okay, now moving on to our spritzer. Okay, I recorded this earlier and it didn't turn out right, so my bottle is already full, but I'm going to go through the steps that you got. So obviously you're going to need a water bottle and water. You're going to take your cap off, obviously, but anyway, you're going to take your water bottle, fill it up to like 75% full of water. Then you're going to take your olive oil and you're going to put a tablespoon of olive oil in it. You're going to pour it into your water bottle there. You're going to take your pure glycerin, which you can, um, just so y'all know, you can get this at the beauty squad store for like $3.99 instead of like $8 at the health food store. Um, if you're in the Dallas area, you can come out to Cedar Hill right here on 67 <laughs> and go to Eve Beauty Supply. 67 next to that line. It's okay. And um, anyway, you're going to take a half a tablespoon of this and pour it in um, into your water bottle. You know this um, glycerin pulls out moisture. Some people don't like using it during the winter months, but my hair doesn't mind it. To each its own. It depends on your hair type or what your hair likes during the winter, fall, and rain and summer. And um, the next thing, I, I like to use the sweet almond oil, and you're going to take about maybe a, a teaspoon of this and pour it into your, to your, your spritzer bottle, sorry. And then um, the next thing I use is the castor oil, and I take about, probably about half a tablespoon of this and pour it into there as well. And then you're going to take, um, you're going to take coconut oil as well. You're going to use about, a, um, use about a tablespoon of that and pour it in there. Coconut oil is a great moisturizer too. And um, then you're going to finally take your essential oil that you like to use. That's my husband. He just really busted up in the studio. Oh, what did I do? 
vediamo da un secondo. This is my baby. She wants to make an opinion. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna, you're gonna take your essential oil that you like to use. I use peppermint mm -hmm. oil. Um, it helps promote hair growth. It smells really good. This is what I like to use. Um, I used to use rosemary, but my husband has hypertension. So, um, it has a tendency to raise blood pressure. So, look, watch out with that if you have that issue. Um, but you're going to put like 10 drops of your favorite essential oil into your mixture. And um, then you put your top back on, shake it up, and you're ready to go. I say, okay, you are ready to go. Spraying, you can use this on your baby hair. My daughter has natural hair, has always had natural hair. And you're going to spray it around and massage it in and put whatever else you need to put in your hair to salad. One more thing before I go, I wanted to share um, a book with you guys for us newly naturals. Um, you can get this at Barnes and Noble. It's called Texture Tresses, and you can also get it at Half Price Books uh, for five ninety eight. Hold on one second. Okay. For five ninety eight, and um, and this book has a lot of a lot of hair styling. Excuse me, right? <laughs> a lot of hair styling has some recipes in it. It also um gives you hair care tips. How to trim your hair. Um, if you're relaxed, it also has a section in there for you guys. If you have a baby with natural hair, it tells you what um, products you can use and how to take care of it. it. It just has so much information if you are newly natural. And like I said, I got it at half price book for five ninety eight. If you're going to go out with no book, it's probably going to be a little bit more, but um, it's it's worth it if you're newly natural and you just need some good guidance. And YouTube is always helpful. That's what helps me. So um. Anyway, so that's all I have to share, and um, my daughter wants to speak to you guys. Please go, Jamie. I bought her a leapfrog um, from Walmart to help her with it. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get out of here and say bye. Say bye, Jamie. Bye. bye. Give me the deuces. Deuces.